Hello there, welcome back to the new tutorial video. In this video, we will be seeing how we can add GIF to Power BI Desktop. Generally, we can simply use and insert any PNG or JPG images in Power BI Desktop. But for GIF, we will have to use some another alternative. So in this tutorial, what we will be do is we will be seeing how we can add this GIF as a background image and also as a card or in some buttons. So let's get started with our video. Now here, what I will do is I will add another sheet over here and on this sheet, we will be using a GIF and we will be using it as a background image. In order to browse some GIF online, let's go to a website. So this is a website, giphy.com and like this website, you also have other websites where you will find various GIFs or meme like GIF and which we can use in the dashboard. So here, what I will do is I will search background and we are here we are having different backgrounds. So for now, let's go with this background. I will just download this background. It has been now downloaded. Now let's move on to Power BI Desktop. Now what we'll do is we'll go to this formatting option and here we have the canvas background. I will just browse the image which we have downloaded just now. Let's do it fit and increase decrease the transparency. So you can see it has been added as a background now. Now what I will do is I will Increase the transparency more. And in order to make it look a little bit more good, what you can do is you can add some shapes and you can give a dark color to that shape. For example, I will here, I will go to this rectangle shape. I will go to the style. I will make it some darker color and increase the transparency. Let's go with 80. And what I will do is I will drag it. And here you can have your home page or main page. You can use this background for adding a many page like this one. So in this way, you have seen how we can add this GIF as a background. Now what we will do is we will be seeing how we can use it in some buttons or in some cards. So let's go to page one. And here what I will do, I will insert a card. And we will try adding a GIF over here. For that, let's download a general logo like GIF. This is the website lauricon.com. And here you can get free as well as some paid icons or logos which you can download in a form of PNG or also in a form of GIF. So here, let's download this home option. I will click on these three dots. And here you have option to export in a form of GIF also. As well as in PNG, I will go with GIF. And here I will select the background color as transparent. And I will download the GIF. It has been downloaded. Now let's move on to our desktop. Here I have imported a card. But as you might be knowing that you don't have any option to insert any image in formatting option for a card. So here this won't work. So instead of this, what I will do is I will go with a button. Let's do this one and insert a blank button. I will go with this blank button. Let's bring it to center. I will increase the size. And under style, you will have to go to fill option. And under fill option, you can select your downloaded GIF and once it is added, you will be seeing that it is perfectly working. Now you might be wondering why I haven't used this icon. So here when you will go to icon type and you will select custom and you will browse any image. Uh, for example, now what I will do, I will create a copy of this. 
and I'll go to style, I'll go to first I'll go to fill and remove this and then I'll go to icon I'll go to browse, I'll browse this option I'll open it I'll make image fit to now fit and you can see that whenever you are going to select any image or give for icon under the icon section it will be static only it will not be dynamic or any moving image so that's why what you have to do is you have to go to the fill browse the width open it and you have it working properly so in this way you can add any logos which you want or any animated images which you want to add for your card and you can also give it some action for any URL or any page navigation. So I hope you have learned something new from this video. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.